Hello and welcome to Sage Creek Campground. This is in the Badlands National Park. This is one of our favorite spots. The kids and I used to come out here probably three or four times in a row right to this spot right here. I mean, you could see the front yard right there. Pretty amazing. This spot right here is a fringe spot. Whenever we would come, we would struggle to get pretty good internet here, uh, even with the equipment that I had. So I wanted to use this spot to demonstrate the difference between the standard InstiConnect Angel Wings and the binocular system. One of the reasons why I made the InstiConnect modular is because I wanted to have, uh, I wanted to give you tons of tools in your toolbox when it comes to finding good LTE cellular internet. Right now we just sell the Angel Wings and that's our omnidirectional device. And then we're selling the binoculars as well, which is the directional. So I'm gonna show you the difference between them, how to hook them up, and uh, and what you can expect when you're out in the fringe zones. Okay, so I got my modem. I'm gonna put it inside the Angel Wings with Verizon, and we're going to get a speed test of just running the Angel Wings, and then we're gonna get out the binoculars, and then we'll set them up, and then we'll get that going. So if you haven't seen anything about the NC Connect yet, this is how simple it is to, to uh, get this thing going. Okay? Got the modem, stick it inside, put the antennas on, and I have a couple wires up here because I was doing some testing with the 5G, but I have this wire here that goes down to my router, plug it in like that, slide it up, and then put the angel feet on there, snap it into place, okay? So this is the 4G unit right here. We're gonna let it boot up and then see what we get as far as speeds go, okay? And head down. I wanna give you a point of reference here as to what it would be like if you did not have the InstaConnect. So I, I got uh, Tina's phone here. She's got the same plan as I have inside the InstaConnect. She's got the grandfathered, we have two grandfathered um, Verizon plans from way, way back. So she's got it in her phone. She's got an iPhone 11 Pro and uh, just run it here. We connected it to Verizon, and uh, it um, at first, yeah, okay, so it seems to struggle a bit, and you can see that just like my phone, it has one bar of LTE, and uh, we're gonna, I'm wondering if maybe just, we're standing by the camper, maybe we're blocking the signal a little too much, so we're gonna come out here, in the open air, and uh, hopefully you can see that, and we'll try to run it again. Now we, okay, so we went to three bars 3G down here. So it really struggles, um, just just the phone really struggles to be able to get a connection. And this is what I was talking about before. Even with our old um, equipment, we, we struggled to get a decent working connection. Um, and, uh, you know, if you just have a phone here, you don't get much of a connection. It boots you down to 3G. Um, but I'm going to try, it's still thinking, I'm going to try to get it to run one. And, okay, so we got some numbers now. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, here we go. All right, so we are getting a little bit of 3G action. About 0.9, not one, one megabit down, 0 0.01. That's virtually, virtually no upload, right? So uh, what I'm going to do real quick is just hook up to the Insta Connect right on her phone, and we'll run it just side by side right so you can see speed test all right okay let me just I'm gonna move back into in a little bit of shade here okay here we go this is running off the NC connect just the wings okay so with just the wings you can see we're getting 14 15. And then just about, yeah, a little bit more than one. So a pretty decently usable signal. About 15 down, about one up um, just from the Wi-Fi. So right there is what most people are seeing. They're getting to places where their phones are struggling to have a decent internet and they have the angel wings. And if they have them up, it'll do a good job of pulling in a signal. So just for reference here, I'm going to put her phone down and grab my phone. Even with the angel wings, the speed still rocks pretty nicely. But 20 down, eh, it went from about a one to about a half. So right in between a half and one meg upload 
but 20.3 down. All right, so um, that's the omnidirectional angel wings. Okay, so we de we specifically designed those to help get a really good signal and help um, pull in a signal pretty much anywhere you are. So you can see, I mean, way out here in the fringe, the angel wings still work exceptionally well. And that's what most people who buy the NC Connect are seeing. They're hooking it up and they're saying, wow, this is about double what I used to see. It's because I spent a lot of time and effort going to places like this in Arizona and Florida and fine tuning those antennas to really pull in a good signal. And then in turn, if you can get the best signal possible, you can usually get a really, really good speed. The only thing you can control is how good of a signal can you get. And so that's why I created those, those uh, antennas the way I did. That's why they're working so well. All right, so let me grab the binoculars and I will show you what they look like. So here are the binoculars. Now, if you notice, they have this very similar shape to the angel wings. The, the antennas are kind of at a 45 degree angle, but you notice that they, they protrude on one end. And essentially, that's where you point these in the direction of the tower. And these are directional antennas. They're called LPDA antennas. And all that means is there's, I don't know if you could see it in the sun, you can kind of see it. There's inside there, there's a bunch of uh, elements. Back here, they're taller, and then they go shorter, 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 shorter. And a lot of people will call this a Yagi antenna, but that's not actually correct. This is a log periodic dipole antenna. All that means is that they put in a bunch of different frequencies in here. Um, so these long ones are for the lower frequencies, and as you get closer to the top, the shorter ones are for the higher frequencies. And, and because it has this uh, directional feel to it there's actually a backing plate right here that helps with the directional part of it so what the signal kind of comes and it bounces off this uh, plate on the back and then it helps it just bring in a signal even better so if you notice here we have the, the little compartment in the middle and that compartment is where the modem goes so I sh just a minute ago showed you the modem module inside here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out of the angel wings and we're gonna slide it into the modem compartment on the binoculars here and notice I use the compartment to offset the pole flange a little bit so when we put this on the pole the pole is gonna go right in between the antennas and uh, they're kind of going to wrap around to better balance the antenna. So this is a very unique design. It was one that I thought of and created. I don't know if this is going to be the final design of the binoculars yet, but it's going to be similar to this. I have a couple ideas on what I want to do to try to make it easier to put them on and take them off. Because this isn't something that you want to drive around with. This is something that you'll want to get out when you're in a spot like this. Um, set them up, point them and then use them and then when you're done take them down and hook them back into your angel wings so we're gonna hop up on the camper and if you notice on the back there i have a flagpole that i got from harbor freight it's an extendable flagpole that i'm going to use to uh, just strap this to using a couple zip ties and then i have another length of usb cable so the nc connect allows you to use two lengths of cable at 15 feet a piece and so we're since we already have one up on the roof we're just going to take the second length of cable and hook it to the binoculars and then plug it into the cable that we have on the roof and then we'll be all set so it's pretty simple to set up and then we're going to see what kind of difference the binoculars can actually get out in these fringe zones here it is really you take a zip tie and you zip tie around a pole i'm going to put two on here and uh and then we're going to pop the modem in, okay? Alright, now we got binoculars up there and uh, let's go ahead and let's run the speed test. I got my my iPad here just because the other one is getting so hard to see. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and run the speed test and see what we got. Whoa. 42, 43, bounce up to 43, you bounce a little bit down and it's going back up. 36, 37, let's get back to 40. Come on, go to 40. There we go, back to 40. 46, oh, 47, almost to 50. Incredible. Seven, eight, nine. Can we get to ten? Get to ten. Pop up to ten. There you go. Pop up to ten. All right, forty-nine point two down, eleven point three up. When we got here, pulled out Tina's phone, did a test with Verizon. Same plan. Couldn't get any 
LTE. It went down to 3G and I was able to get about 0.5 down and about 0.01 up, okay? Then I ran a test with the Angel Wings right here. Got about you know 19 to 20 down, 0.5 to 0.7, maybe about one up, which is really good. The Angel Wings just by themselves are gonna rock it. But if you wanna get some serious work done and you wanna be out in the fringe like this, just an amazing spot, right? What you need to get is the binoculars. Get the binoculars, put the modem in, put them up, and get your additional data cable. As you can see, the speed test, 49.2, 11.3 up. That is incredibly different. And, and the reason why this works so well is because we put the modem inside the antenna. So in the angel wings, the modem's in there. It takes the signal, turns it directly into data. Same thing with the binoculars, but except we're putting it up even higher and we're using directional antennas. So I just tweaked it in the direction of the cell phone tower. And that, I'll have to see how far away that is. That cell phone tower is pretty far away. It's, it's right off of I-90 and I'm here at Sage Creek and I'm getting 50 down, 11.3 up. All right, so there you have it. That is the binoculars antenna, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted to create the NC Connect in a modular fashion. So we have the modem that goes in the angel wings that goes on top of your camper. That is the easiest way to get a good signal. Uh, pretty much anywhere you can get a signal. Um, but if you want to go that next step, if you want to get even more internet, we created the binoculars so that you can put it up even higher. You can aim it in the direction of the tower and pull down the best signal, which will normally equal a better speed. So here at Sage Creek Campground in the Badlands National Park, where if you're just trying your phone, you might get just a very, very little bit amount of data. With the Angel Wings omnidirectional antenna that comes standard with the NC Connect, you get 20 down and about a half to one up. And then if you wanna take that next step, which in my testing, I think I've gotten the best speeds I've ever gotten on any device that I've ever tried with the binoculars. And the whole reason why is because we put the modem right next to the antenna. We do it in the angel wings, we do it in the binoculars. So it right away turns that signal into data, pushes the data over the data cable into your router, and then it broadcasts it via Wi-Fi. It is, in my opinion, the best way to pull in a signal, the best way to boost that signal, and then to put it out over Wi-Fi. So if you're looking to get the best internet anywhere you go on the road and you're using LTE and cellular, check out the NC Connect at ncconnect.com and you'll see our angel wings and you'll also see the binoculars out there. And if you have any questions, go over to the website, go up to help and then contact us and you can send us a message and we'll be glad to help any way we possibly can. And if you're brand new here, consider subscribing because we're doing a lot of cool stuff like we just got word that we're going to be trying to be a part of the fmca convention and have a booth there and let everybody know about the nc connect so we worked really hard today just sitting right outside our camper using our nc connect connection creating banners more um, business cards more postcards all kinds of cool stuff getting ready to be at the expo i'm super excited it's going to be super cool love to have you come along um, and just kind of join our journey so Great having you here. Thanks so much. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. You going to be able to get down? <laughs>